Ahoy, welcome back to Building the Alpha Dory. I'm Dan, and uh, glad you could stop by. This video we're going to be finishing up, planing and cleaning up the uh, cleats, the bottom cleats, and uh, possibly uh, start attaching them to the bottom of the boat. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Get on with it and uh, see out in the shop. So first thing is to uh, finish cleaning up the ends of the cross plates. Almost done with that. So before I um, <clears throat> before I'm planning the sides, I'm transferring the number. This has already been planned on this side, so I can just go straight to <clears throat> Yeah, so it's, when it's ready to go on the boat, both uh, sides should be planned. Looks like I didn't get the saw marks totally out there. Uh, both sides should be planed. And um, and the uh, edges beveled as well. You don't want any, want any sharp edges to uh, stub toes or hurt bare feet.
else. I'm just kind of taking a swipe with the plane and see how the blade cuts on the first swipe. Make sure I'm going in the right direction with the grain. And if I'm not, then I'll, I'm swapping the plane around in the other direction on the next pass. <clears throat> and then I'm just making sure that I clamp the wood in high enough above the uh, metal jaws of the vise that I'm able to double the, double the plane and get this uh, top edge without being uh, in danger of nicking the plane on the uh, metal vise jaws. One of the disadvantages of using a metal vise for woodworking. But, uh, this is a little bit easier to, uh, quicker to adjust than my uh, bench vise, which I just got a, uh, <clears throat> I got a woodworker's clamp on it, so. <clears throat> Goes a little bit faster in this in this class. Plus, this is a real good working height for uh, smaller items. The bench vice is kind of for bigger pieces. plane blade was really biting in that direction, so what I'll do is, uh, when I feel that, when I feel that, I'll just uh, swap direction. Get a nice smooth uh, cut. These cross cleats start at a <clears throat> little bit strong of two inches, so when they're uh, when they're all finished getting cleaned up, they'll be a little bit under two inches, but not much. I forgot to transfer the number on a couple of those.
this uh, little sort of mini cleat <clears throat> will not be spanning three boards like the other cleats do. It uh, just will be giving some strength to the uh, to the middle board along the grain. It's uh, it's almost like you're kind of making a building up a sheet of plywood with these cross pieces and then the grain running fore and aft on the uh, on the bottom boards you know, you, and you get this cross piece so you're kind of laminating you know, mechanically but you're laminating like two pieces of wood together at 90 degree angles so you're getting strength in both directions so it's you know it's not exactly the same thing as plywood but it's the structure once it's put together has a somewhat similar effect. All right. All right. So that's the uh, that's the effect with the cross cleats uh, just laid out on it. You can see how they just set in uh, about a a little bit less than a half inch from the uh, edge of the, the bottom and of course that bottom is going to get planed a little bit so you know they'll, you'll lose a tiny bit of width on the bottom but not much and um, especially on the inside that that edge should stay pretty much where it's at uh, you know. so anyway yeah, that's the uh, next thing to do is rivet them down Okay, so I uh, kind of went through my fastener cupboard back here, and uh, looks like I don't really have enough uh, washers of the right size to start riveting tonight. So I'll have to uh, yeah, I'll have to look around again and see if I can find any more. <clears throat> Might have something on the porch, but uh, yeah, whatever. That's all right. It's almost time for uh, dinner anyway. So no time for supper. Yeah, so I guess that's that's it for this video. It'll be a little bit short, and uh, you know, we'll see uh, see what I come across. It's either that or I'm gonna have to order some, either from uh, Jamestown or maybe they'll have some over at uh, Amesbury Industrial Supply. We can see, but uh, they're kind of out of. And here's another one. Looks like maybe. Unless that's steel. That's a steel washer. <clears throat> Ring nails. Something else I need to get a get a bunch of. I was getting those over at a Rose Marine in Gloucester, so I'll see what they See if they've got some over there. But, uh, yeah, I found a bunch of other washers, small ones and big ones, but none of the uh, none of the size that I needed. On the plus side, I've got plenty of nails, so I don't have to go. I'm not gonna have to go buy a lot of nails. Got more than enough nails and I uh, found some of the other riveting stuff too so yeah, I should probably make sure I've got washers for those other size rivets I found I only found two boxes of washers and they're small ones so I don't know if there's another box or a bag around here that I'm just not seeing or if I used them all up on Centennial or what but yeah maybe we can uh,
take a walk over and I'll show you what I'm doing uh, on Centennial to get her ready to go this, this spring before it gets too dark out. So kind of in the middle of uh, repainting, you can see I've uh, scraped the the uh, shear strike there. Going to redo the red, so I'm redoing the white first, and uh, already oiled the deck. Did the um, Painted the hatch cover, uh, painted the other hatch covers, did the trim around the uh, standing well. You may have noticed the, uh, may have noticed the <clears throat> rudder in the shop. Um, still got to do the gonna give the uh, mast a coat of wax and still gotta do the uh, the white on the uh, rig on the spars I already did the uh, bow sprit then uh, I don't know if you can see in there but I did the redid the stem painted the stem and deck cleat and all that stuff. So yeah, she's just about ready to go. Oiled the running rigging. What else? Yeah, I'm pretty uh, psyched to try out these little uh, port lights that I uh, put in last uh, last fall. Never really got a chance to uh, try those yet, so I think they're going to make a big difference below decks. And then I got to do the, uh, got to do the blue. And, um, bottom paint. And like I said, I'm redoing the, uh, the red. So I, got, I did the uh, white tow rail stripe there. And I gotta do the red on top of it and then the red, the uh, shear strike. But uh, coming along, we've had some beautiful weather, so I've been kind of kicking myself that it's that it wasn't in. But you know, it is what it is. So. Yeah, if I could have gotten something done on it this weekend, I'd almost be ready to go in two weekends from now. You know, if I did the rig next week, but. Mm. Working on the alpha door instead, so <laughs> gotta pick one, get it done. Uh, gotta clean out the uh, football there. Got a bunch of junk in there. I also gotta clean out below deck, so I still got some uh, bedding and whatnot from. Uh, Last fall, gotta 
Yank that all out and air it out for a couple of days, maybe wash everything. It stays pretty dry in there and you know, it doesn't, I've never, never noticed it smelling musty, but probably some squash bugs get in there, so it'd be a good idea to get it all cleaned out before the season starts anyway. Well, thanks for stopping in and uh, building the alpha dory. And we'll uh, <clears throat> see how we get along uh, finding those rivets and uh, get to riveting those cross cleats on. Anyway, see you later. Bye. Feel free to uh, leave comments in the comment section. I'll Try to get to them in a future video.